I read these two books. They're really thin, they're about five dollars each, so they're really cheap too. I got this one recommended by Ali Abdal, and this one came recommended when I was buying this, so I just bought this as well. And I'm glad they're complementary. They overlap a bit, but this one says different strategies from this one. So let me get to this one first. Feeling is the secret. Think about all the things that you want. Imagine that you have already achieved it and imagine how you'll feel and just sit with that feeling until you fall asleep. That's basically what this book says again and again. The reason it says for doing that is that taps into your subconscious and programs your subconscious. And your subconscious really is in control of a lot of things, things that may seem outside of your control. It also said the mood is the secret of the subconscious. So being in a good mood, feeling good a lot of the times, most of the day, that's also crucial. Now let's get to the more interesting book, The Strangest Secret. This talks about the power of thought. Great wise men and teachers, philosophers and prophets agree on this one point. We become what we think about. We get what we think about. Marcus Aurelius said, a man's life is what his thoughts make of it. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, a man is what he thinks about all day long. And Earl Nightingale, the author of this book, said that if we think about nothing, we become nothing. That was striking to me because I thought, oh, if you think about nothing, then that's a good thing, right? Kind of like meditation. You're staying in the present moment. But no, that's not what he says. He says, if we think about nothing, we become nothing. He also says, everything that's really worthwhile in life came to us for free like our minds, our souls, our bodies, our hopes and dreams, our ambitions, our intelligence, our love of family and friends. These things are priceless possessions. And as opposed to that, the things that cost us money are actually very cheap and can be replaced at any time. But the things that we got for free, we can never replace. He also says the same thing as Neville Goddard, the author of this book, Feeling is the Secret, and that you should picture yourself in your mind's eye as already having achieved this goal. See yourself doing the things you will be doing when you have reached this goal. Every one of us is the sum total of our own thoughts. We are where we are because that is exactly where we feel we deserve to be. So we must control our thinking. So how do we control our thinking? Well, he gives a 30 day challenge of action items to put into place. First, he said, write on a card what it is you want more than anything else and make sure it's a single goal and clearly defined. He said, carry this card with you so that you can look at it several times a day and you have something to work for, something to get out of bed for, something to live for. Look at these goals written on your card every chance you get during the day and just before going to bed at night. And the second step is to stop thinking about what it is you fear. Don't concern yourself too much about how you are going to achieve your goal. The answers will come to you of their own accord and at the right time. Ask and it shall be given. He also says, devote your 30 day test to completely giving of yourself without thinking of receiving anything in return. No matter what your job, do it as you have never done before. And if you have kept your goal for every day for 30 days, you will wonder and marvel at this new life you have found. So basically, also, you have to give it your all and expect nothing in return. So I guess that's the action side on top of reading your goal every single day, multiple times a day. In other words, work hard. Persistence is another word for faith. If you do not have faith, you would never persist. I like that one. He also says, in your spare time during your test period, read books that will help you. Read at least 15 minutes each day. Above all, don't worry. Worry brings fear and fear is crippling. Know that all you have to do is hold your goal before you. Everything else will take care of itself. Remember also to keep calm and cheerful. Don't let petty things annoy you and get you off course. If you sow positive thoughts, your life will be cheerful, successful, and positive. He also said, gradually, you will have a tendency to forget what you have just learned. So read this again each week. And another important thing he says is the only way to earn money is by providing people with services or products that are needed or useful. Our financial return will be in direct proportion to our service. We've got to be of service first before we can expect money. The truth is that you can only earn money after you are successful. No person can get rich themselves unless they first enrich others. It may take some time, but surely as you breathe, you will get back what you put out. Take this 30 day test and repeat it and then repeat it again. What's more important is you'll have peace. You'll be in that wonderful minority who lead calm, cheerful, successful lives. Side note would be change the image you have of yourself by writing out a description of the person you would like to be and act the part of the successful person you have decided to become. That's about the whole book of The Strangest Secret. So I was thinking I carry a note with me and read it 
every day, multiple times a day. And then I thought, wait, there's something that I check multiple times a day anyways, my phone. So why don't I add this note on my phone? So as you can see, it says you will earn $100 a month making videos. I set that as an initial goal so that it's a realistic target to hit once I get monetized on YouTube. So every time I open my phone, I will read this. You will earn $100 a month making videos. I'm going to read it in the morning when I wake up and I'm going to read it throughout the day and at night before I go to bed. And as I learned from feeling is the secret, I will imagine to have already achieved my goals and sit with that feeling as I'm falling asleep to program my subconscious. I've heard all these things before, to be honest. This is nothing new for me. Think and Grow Rich talks about it. Your Wishes, Your Command talks about it. All these different teachers who have different backgrounds and are from different decades and even centuries, they're all teaching this kind of stuff. So hey, 30 days, I'll give it a shot. Today is December 23rd, so let's see how it goes on my YouTube journey a month from now on January 23rd. YouTube is a slow game though, so I wouldn't be surprised if I was still far from reaching my monetization goal. But hey, worth giving it a try, right? It's gonna be a little bit challenging to keep reminding myself to do these exercises, but it's worth trying, so I'm gonna try it. music while I'm recording. No! <laughs> Shit, my plan is not working out. Okay, never mind. So many birds. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading this and Tigger came up to keep me company on my lap. Tigger. Mochi here. Tigger here. Oh. She spotted something. Well, that was a longer video than expected. It's 9.26 p.m. right now. Man, I better make this quickly. 1% better every day, baby.